Blacksburg, Virginia, the largest city in the state. Rainy and windy conditions are going to make for a very interesting football game between the Marshall Thundering Herd and the Virginia Tech Hokies. And here come the Hokies. Welcome to the start of the college football weekend. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herdstreet with you, and they are definitely ready to play some football down there. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Well, this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big play. Marshall is in a little bit of trouble defensively. Of course, the key to this game will be their ability to put pressure on the quarterback. He's very creative, and I think his ability to escape pressure and make big plays is why they'll win this football game. I like that pick, and I'm going to tell you why. Marshall has a good defense, but I think as good as their defense is, they will have a hard time defending this kind of running attack. I think they'll play well, but not well enough, sweetheart, to win this ball game. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. Virginia Tech has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. We should have a return on this one. Number 27 fields it at the three. And he did not have a good kick return on that one. No, some miscommunication there with his blockers. The coverage team just charged right in and took him down. They'll start this drive at the 17. The thundering herd set up in the gun. He drops back, throws it out there, complete. He's hit and got away. And they hit him in the backfield. They're stopped two yards behind the line. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 15. Number seven is back in the gun. Option to the right. To the 30, and now he pitches it. The 40, the 50. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. And he broke one for about a mile there. You know, guys, it's going to be interesting to see how this defense adjusts to the running game. It's first and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. The Hokies bring in their dive package. He throws it. Number 13 makes a catch. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Back to pass. He's looking for his man, and it's caught, and it pays off. Touchdown. So he caught the short pass for the score. Great throw, great catch. This tight end is a big-time threat near that goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. Marshall lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 12, fields it at the two. Right. 
They'll take over at the 24. The thundering herd come out in a 34 defense. They call it out of bounds. No catch. Good call by the official. The receiver made a tremendous catch here, but you can see clearly he didn't have possession of the football when he was in bounds. Second and 10. Ball on the 24. Four man front by the defense. There's a play fake. Throws it deep downfield. It falls incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. He fires left side. Complete number 19 with a takedown at the 47. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and 10, ball on their own 47. The Hokies line up in an eye formation. Number 14 on play action, and it's caught, and he's tackled at the 39. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. It's first and 10, ball on the 39. The thundering herd use a four-man front here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Number 43 hangs on to it. That play fake good for five yards. Second down and five. This is the sixth play of this drive. High formation here. that one number 97 brings him down at the 21 and the fullback comes up with a nice run this is just strength on strength right here they give it to the fullback and he powers his way for some good yardage and another first down it's first and ten seventh play of this drive coming up virginia tech sets up in the eye handoff up the middle he jukes Spins upfield. Number two with a takedown at the 12. They'll get nine yards on the play. Second and one. Eighth play of this drive coming up. Virginia Tech going with the power eye. Brought down at the 11. Just a yard there. Third down and short. Ninth play of this drive coming up. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Number 48 brings him down for a loss. Great play by the big linebacker. I'll tell you what, Coach, it looked like he snuffed that one out from the beginning. You're right, Kirk. There wasn't much the ball carrier could do in that situation. Fourth and one. Ball on the 12. They're crowding the line. Handoff up the middle. Off the would-be tackler. Spin move. They'll bring him down at the three. And a big run there on fourth down. Brad, this is what impresses me about this team. It's fourth down, and you know what's coming. We're running right at you. Try it. Stop us.
They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Set. Cut, 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 cut. Number 22 gets it on the inside. Number 95 brings him down at the two. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. High formation, looking to punch it in here. And plenty of options on this play, you guys. Number 22 on the give, and it pays off. Touchdown. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Let's see the replay on that run. Flag down, and he missed it. He missed the extra point. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the, the kicker. kicker. On the defense. On the defense. After this, is a goal. the extra point. Virginia Tech is ready to kick it away. Number 27 and number 11 set to return. Kicks it off. Number 11 passes it at the five. They'll go to work at the 20. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Number 95 with a takedown at the 20 yard line. The quarterback draw goes nowhere. Second and ten, ball on the 20. Marshall goes with the ace set here. Number 24 gets it off. He tries to spin, and they make the stop at the 23. Holding, Holding. on the only offense. offense. Second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 13. Virginia Tech brings in their nickel package. Back to pass. He's in trouble. He guns it to the right. Swatted away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Number four brings him down at the 21. 
solid gain, guys, but short of the first down. Yeah, that was a nice gain. Although it didn't get him the first down, it gives him a little bit more confidence in moving the football against this defense later on in the game. It's fourth down, nine yards to go. Ball on their own 21. Marshall lining up the punt. Number two calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 39. They'll get the ball here at the 39-yard line. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Hot. 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 Number 43 gets it on the inside. Number 43 with a takedown at the 46-yard line. A nice seven-yard run by the fullback. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Thundering Herd line up in a 3-4. He drops back. He guns it to the left. And that's a tough play to make, Coach. You know, having to concentrate on the ball while the ball is still in the air sometimes causes the receiver not to be aware of where the sideline is. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Marshall comes out in a 4-3. Number 14, little toss to the right. He spins around. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. He's at the 20 with a stiff arm. Number 19 brings him down at the 10. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. Kirk, you're absolutely right. I like this guy more every time I see him. After a quarter of play, our score is Marshall, 7, Virginia Tech, 6. We are ready to start quarter number 2. Defense lines up, eight men in the box. Number 14, back to pass. Complete, he tries a stiff arm. Number 21 with a takedown at the one yard line. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas, I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release and he's very accurate. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. They throw a flag on the ground, up the middle. And he's got the touchdown. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 11. Marshall lines up defensively in a 3-4. Number 14, options out, pitches back. He spins. Number 48 brings him down at the four. A seven yard run by the running back. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Number 22 gets the carry, and they'll score. And that's his second rushing touchdown of the first half. And the head coach has to love the way this kid is running the football. I gotta see that one again. And 
and he hits the PAT. Virginia Tech to kick this one off. Number 11 and number 27 deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 27 fields it in the end zone. They'll start this drive at the 21. Marshall lines up in a shotgun set. Tackle at the 22-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play. Second and nine, ball on the 22. They line up in the shotgun. Number seven with a nice play fake. He's scrambling. He wants it all going long. And it's caught. Number 17 with a takedown at the 50-yard line. He can provide some excitement. He sure can. And the thing that makes this play successful is the fact that he's on the same page with his quarterback. Sometimes you see wide receivers that don't have their heads in the game, and they make stupid mistakes. You're right. Then they complain about not getting the ball. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The thundering herd. Line up with three wide. Number seven drops back. Look. He passes it. Complete. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. It's first and 10, ball on the 28. Marshall goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. He's looking, he's under pressure, lets it fly. He caught it for the touchdown. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They designed plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. And he misses the extra point. Marshall to kick. Kicks it off. Number two, pass it at the five. They'll take over at the 21 yard line. They line up with trips to the right. Back to pass. He unloads it. And it's caught. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. That'll be a two-yard gain. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Hokies come out in the power eye. Number 14 steps back to pass. 
Let's it go. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And he made them pay right there. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 34. The thundering herd. Use a four-man front here. They'll run the option. He lateral. Nice spin move. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. That's four yards on the play. Second and six. Ball on their own 38. The thundering herd. Line up in a 4-3. Number 14 gives it up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 39. Number 14 is back in the gun. Hut. 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 He drops back. He lets it go. Number 12 with a catch. That will be enough for the first down. Well, you talk about a sharp pass. That was a nice throw right there. Kurt, wasn't that a nice catch? First and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. They line up in a double tight set. There's a the play fake. Throws it out there. Second and 10. This is the seventh play of this drive. Marshall comes out in a 4-3. Drops to throw. Under heavy pressure. Complete. Jed's a tackle. And down he goes at the 38. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. The Hokies come out in a shotgun. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looking. Here comes the pressure. He goes downtown. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They went deep there, and did they have good luck with it. Boy, I'll say, that was a great touchdown catch by the wide receiver. Let's take another look at that touchdown pass. Guys, this is a great example of a quarterback with great awareness. Does a good job of scanning the field and getting it to the right corner. That's the touchdown. the PAT. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Virginia Tech 20, Marshall 13. Virginia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 27 fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 25 yard line. Number 24 lines up as a single back. Drops back to pass. He fires right. Number 13 has it, and they make the stop at the 49-yard line. 
And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Hokey bring in the nickel package. Number 17 brings him down at the 40. Marshall calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. Marshall lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Pumps once. He throws it. And it's caught. Number two with a takedown at the 16-yard line. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. First and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Marshall goes with the ace set here. Here's an option, right side. Tackle at the 11. They gained five yards there. Second and five coming up here. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Virginia Tech lines up defensively in a 3-4. Number 24 makes the catch. Spins upfield. Number 35 brings him down at the one-yard line. A few yards that time on the pass. This is just a little pass to the halfback. Nothing spectacular, but it's plays like these that keep the defense off balance and drives alive. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Number seven, hands off right side. What do you think of this guy? Lee? This guy's a giant tailback playing fullback. He's got all the moves a halfback has, and he's got the power of a fullback. What a great combo. is the extra point. Marshall is ready to kick it away. Kicks it off. Number two takes it at the four. First and ten, ball on the 34. The Hokies line up in an I formation. Hunt. 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 He drops back. Under pressure. Looks. And it falls incomplete. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. Let's check out the replay. Second and ten, ball on the 34. Marshall comes out in a 3-4. Drops back to pass. He rifles it to the left, and it's incomplete.
Third and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Going deep. Number 19 hangs on to it. And they finally tackle him at the 37. Virginia Tech takes a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's first and 10, ball on the 37. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Number 14, back to throw. Looking. He lets it go deep down the middle. Can't wrap him up. Good move. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. You know, sometimes you hear people say that defensive backs can't catch the ball very good. That's why they play defensive back instead of receiver. Well, this guy just proved that theory wrong. He can definitely catch the football. Yeah, there are some exceptions. I would definitely admit that. Virginia Tech comes out of the 4-3. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. He takes the delayed handoff and plows forward for maybe five yards. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Virginia Tech 20, Marshall 19. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. He kicks it. Number 12 fields it in the end zone. There's a penalty on the play. Flip it, flip it. On the receiving team. After this one is going to start the clock. First down. First down. They'll get the ball here at the nine. Number 22 lines up in the deep back, eye formation. They hand it off. Brought down at the 15 yard line, a gain of six. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 15. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Number 14 fakes a handoff. He's looking for his man, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 15-yard line. Marshall lines up with five defensive backs. They'll bring him down at the 25. And that will give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. It's first and 10, ball on their own 25. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Number 14 drops back to pass. Looks, heaves a long one down the middle. Complete, he finally goes down at the 36. It's another 100-yard receiving performance out there by one solid player. So what else is new? This guy is capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. First and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 14 is back in the gun. He drops back. 
Rifles it right side. Number 26 with a catch. Touchdown! What do you think of this pass, Coach? When you look at the replay here, the impressive thing about this pass is how quickly he gets the ball from point A to point B. That makes it tough on the old defense to react. point. Virginia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Number 11 and number 27 back deep to return. And this one's a short kick. Number 11 takes it to 14. They'll start this drive at the 21. The thundering herd come out in the ace formation. Number seven gives it up the middle. He tries to spin. He's out to the 30. Number 45 with a takedown at the 37. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. The Hokie come out in the 34 defense. Number 24 on the handoff. Number 17 brings him down at the 46-yard line. Gain of nine. Second and one coming up here. Ball on their own 46. Number seven with four wide receivers. Number seven back to pass. He passes it, and that one's fallen incomplete. And he overthrew that one badly. Whoa, the receiver's fast, but he's not that fast. Defense! 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 Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 46. They're lining up in the 5-2. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Couldn't get anything out of that. Fourth and one coming up. Ball on the 46. Marshall lining up the punt. Number two, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 16-yard line. They'll take over at the 16-yard line. The Hokies line up in an eye formation. They hand it off. Jukbu. Number 25 with a takedown at the 18-yard line. And they pick up two yards. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 18. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. Number 14 gives it up the middle. 
Number two brings him down at the 29. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten, ball on the 29-yard line. The thundering herd line up in a 3-4. He's hit and got away. Number two with a takedown at the 36. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Second and three. Ball on the 36-yard line. Marshall lines up defensively in a 4-3. 14 gives it up the middle. Number 25 brings him down at the 39. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. Third down, less than a yard. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Hokies line up in the power eye formation. Number 14 gives it up the middle. Number 91 with a takedown at the 46-yard line. Well, he worked hard for those yards, Coach. Yeah, Brad, this kid is a hard-nosed player. He gives that kind of effort every single play. It's first and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. They use four linebackers. He's looking. He's in trouble. Let's it fly. Incomplete pass. And that was out of reach for his tight end. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. They'll line up in the power eye. They'll run the option. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. No gain. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 46. The thundering herd. Line up in a nickel back. Drop back to pass. Incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. It's fourth down and 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 88 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 19. They'll go to work at the 19. The Hokies line up with six defensive backs. Pass. He's under pressure. This one's thrown deep over the middle, and it's caught. And he's finally brought down at the 47-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 47. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Number seven drops to throw. He wants it all going long. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab the interception. This guy's got potential. I'll tell you what, if he keeps it up, you might see him playing on Sundays. It's first and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. Marshall going with a three-man front. Number 20 
42. Gets it on the inside. Number 19 brings him down at the 31. That's 100 yards rushing for the day, guys. You know, Brad, 100 yards is a great day, but the thing that I've been most impressed with is the way he's been able to accomplish that with such great effort. Second and six, ball on the 31. The thundering herd use a four-man front here. Penalty marker on the field. Number 48 with a takedown at the 33. Got an inverted in mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yards total. First down. Yeah. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Hunt. Hunt, hunt. Hunt, hunt. Number 14, running the option. He's at midfield to the 40. He laterals the ball. First and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out with four linebackers. Number 14 on the opposite right. Tackle at the 34. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Second and nine. This is the sixth play of this drive. Three wideouts here, on the ground, up the middle. Jake's off a tackle. And down he goes, at the 30. He rumbles for about four yards on that draw play. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Virginia Tech, 26, Marshall, 19. They've switched sides, and these teams are all set to start the fourth and final quarter. Third and five. Seventh play of this drive coming up. The Thundering Herd come out in a 34 defense. Number 14, back to throw. Looking. He unloads it. Number 22, drops it. I think he heard footsteps that time, guys. He must have heard something, because he just flat out dropped that ball. Fourth down and five, ball on the 30. Number 49, lined up for the field goal, and he's going to need some distance on this one. The kick is up. No good, he missed it to the right. They'll get the ball here at the 30-yard line. Virginia Tech lines up defensively in a 4-3. He drops back. Looks. Rifles this one out to the left. Number 40 has it. Number 2 brings him down at the 48. Boy, did he zip that ball in there. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number 24 lines up as a single back. Number seven, little talk to the right. Number 25 brings him down for a loss. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They line up with trips to the right. Drop back to pass. He steps up. Complete. And they pick up two yards.
third and 11 coming up here. Ball right around midfield. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He's looking. It falls incomplete. They got some good pressure on him there. Yeah, but don't forget the fact that nobody was open. That was good coverage, too. Fourth down, 11, ball on the 49. Marshall lining up the punt. Didn't get all of that one. Number two, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 19-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 19. The Hokies line up in an I formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Number 25 comes away with a sack. The linebacker on the blitz picks up the sack. Second and long. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Hokies come out in a shotgun. Number 14 drops back. Number 15 knocks it away. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. Third and long. Ball on their own 13. Marshall lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Looking. He gives a pump fake. He goes downtown. And that one's fallen incomplete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. Fourth and long. Ball on the 13. Number 88 awaiting the return. Number 88 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 43-yard line. They'll take over at the 43. The Hokie use a four-man front here. Number seven drops back to pass. Let's it go. And it's caught. And he's finally taken down at the 17-yard line. What do you think of that catch, Kirk? What a steady performer this player has been. That's now over 100 yards receiving on the day for this fine young man. First and 10. They're in the red zone. Number 24 alone in the backfield. on the handoff missed tackle and they make the stop at the nine yard line a nice pickup of about eight yards Marshall comes to the line with three wide Number seven still has it. Complete, fumbles the ball. Scooped up by the defense. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. I agree. Huge play. Right. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Hokies. Line up in the power eye formation. He lets it go. Number 85 makes the catch. 
And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. Virginia Tech going with the power eye. Little handoff. He's to the 50. Number 44 with a takedown at the 42-yard line. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. It's first and 10, ball on the 42. Virginia Tech comes out with two tight ends. Number 14 gives it up the middle. Number 97 brings him down at the 32. He got a really nice gain on that run. Brad, I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box lead. Maybe they could slow down this running game. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out in the shotgun. Number 25 with a takedown at the 28-yard line. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. The thundering herd come out in a 4-3. On the ground, up the middle. Number 48 brings him down at the 27. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. It's third down and five to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Hokies go with the I formation. Cut. 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 Number 14 steps back to pass. Throws it out there. Tipped away. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. Fourth down and five. Ball on the 27. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. And he missed it to the right. They'll go to work at the 27. Virginia Tech lines up defensively in a 3-4. Number seven, back to throw. He throws it, and it's caught. And they finally bring him down at the 38-yard line. Although I prefer more of an option-style offense in college, I can still appreciate the style of passing that this quarterback is displaying. Anytime you throw for over 300 yards, you've had quite a day. Yes, indeed. And it falls incomplete. Holding. On the offense. On the offense. Ten yard penalty. penalty. Still first down. down. First and long. Ball on the 48. Number 24 lines up as a single back. Number seven drops back. He's looking for his man. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 13. Got a stat for us, coach. Why does this stat not surprise me? With that catch, his total yards for the day is over 100.
drops back. Under heavy pressure. He passes it. He's got it. Touchdown. And coach, how about that touchdown? With that last touchdown throw, this quarterback now has managed to find the end zone three times today. Pretty decent number, if you ask me. point they miss the opportunity to take the lead oh boy and believe me nobody feels worse than that kicker right now Marshall is ready to kick it away Here's the kick. Number two takes it at the eight. They'll get the ball here at the 30. Four-man front by the defense. Run on, run on, run, run on. Back to pass. Looks. Going deep. And it's caught. Number 15 with a takedown at the 24-yard line. And a big catch by the tight end. Yeah, that was big. And I'll tell you what, that tight end can really move. Marshall calls a timeout. And they've got two remaining. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number 43 on the give. Tackle at the 20. The defense calls a timeout. And they'll have one timeout left. Second down and six to go. Ball on the 20. Marshall comes out in a 4-3. On the ground, right side. He spins around. Number 25 brings him down at the seven-yard line. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. The Thundering Herd come out in a 34 defense. Run on. Run. Run on. And down he goes at the four. Three yards there on the play. Virginia Tech will line up in a jumbo set here. Drop back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's complete for the touchdown. That was his third touchdown of the day. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And those decisions he's been making are the right ones, too, my friend. on the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Virginia Tech 33, Marshall 25.
Virginia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Number 27 and number 11 back to return. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Number 27 takes it from the six. They'll start this drive at the 28. Marshall in a four wide set. He drops back, steps up. He unloads it. And it's knocked down. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. And second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 28. One man backfield. Back to pass. Let's it go. Complete. And they make the stop at the 38 yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. pass spikes the ball second and ten ball on the 38 they use four linebackers Number seven drops to throw. He lets it go, and it's caught, and he's taken down at the 31. What's up, Lee? Kids, check out this stat. This quarterback is thrown for over 400 yards in this football game. Come on, that's like four football fields. He drops back. He's looking, fires a bullet out to the right. Picked off. Number 66 with a takedown at the 31. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. First and ten. Ball on their own 31. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Marshall takes a timeout, and now they've got no timeouts left. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 29. Four man front by the defense. And that's the end of the ball game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Virginia Tech really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Thanks for watching this game of NCAA Football 2003. The final count in this one, Virginia Tech 33, Marshall 25. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.